So I just heard that Devin Haney is actually getting back in the ring and you you wouldn't believe who he actually landed. Uh, but before I get into it, please hit that like button and also subscribe uh, and then hit that notification bell just so that way you can get all the content whenever it gets released. And hey, Devin Haney landed, I, I think probably the best fight that he could land right now, just based off the fact that Tiafimo Lopez is dealing with the combosis stuff. Um, Ryan Garcia doesn't look like he's wanting to fight right now. Tank's got a fight lined up. And it just looks like every... And then Shakur Stevenson already fought. It just it seems like Devin Haney needed to stay busy. And so he actually... It's confirmed that Devin Haney will be going against Jojo Diaz in December. So, man, that's a, that's a pretty good fight. Anybody that's a real fight fan knows that Jojo Diaz is no slouch. He's a proven fighter. Um, he's got decent folks. I, I would say decent folks from the from the from the lower division in his resume. Strong fighter, very elusive. Um, I'm excited about this fight. Honestly, I really am. This is the best fight. I think this is the best fight that Devin Haney could have landed. Um, based off of everything that else is going around and so yeah yeah pretty good fight definitely going to be the strongest test that he's had so far and he's he's going to have to be in the gym for this one I, it's not going to be one of those oh you know i'm already ready let's go like no he's going to have to i think he's going to have to have a game plan he's going to have to focus and I, i'm not i'm definitely not saying a knockout with this um i I really feel like this would probably be a decision victory. Um, I don't. I don't think it would be a split decision because I think that Devin Haney has the tools, but it's going to be something that he's going to have to figure out throughout the fight. Uh, he's. It's definitely not going to be a straightforward fight. So I'm really excited about this. Um, on a side note, I did see that Lomachenko was trying to get a rematch with Tiafimo Lopez. I don't know if Tiafimo is really going to do the rematch, not because he's trying to duck or anything. I just think that Tiafimo right now, he's just trying to, to land a real big, big fight. And I'm not saying Lomachenko rematch wouldn't be a big, big fight. I'm just saying that uh, I just don't, I don't think that that's what they're going to do right now. I think uh, a Josh Taylor fight is really what he would want. I don't think he wants a Devin Haney fight either. Uh, I think he would like, a, obviously, a Tank or a Ryan Garcia, but that's not going to happen. So, and the Josh Taylor fight is not going to happen either just because, you know, they can't market it as two undisputed champions, you know. And Josh Taylor has already said that until Tiafimo gets that WBC belt from Devin Haney, I don't think that uh, a Josh Taylor fight is even in the cards anytime soon or, or at all. Uh, yeah, Tiafimo just, he's got a bad situation going right now um, just because he's hes focusing on the belts and not focusing on trying to stay busy and, um, and really trying to make some things happen. So it's unfortunate. Very, very talented fighter, but, you know, it is what it is. But for Devin, Devin, I really think that because he's so he's he's focused on staying busy, focused on the things that he can control. I really feel that um, that Devin Haney is probably going to get some opportunities pretty soon, and it it might actually be to to move up and wait. You know, I don't I don't see why not. I I know he's not a a big big power puncher. He is super quick though, so he might have some opportunities. In you know is super lightweight. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, he's, he's still so young, so smart in the ring, man. But back to this fight, I'm really, really, I can't stress this enough. I'm really excited about this fight because Jojo Diaz is, is a real veteran, a real contender and, um, a, a true fighter, man. You know, and so this this is going to be good. This is actually going to be a good look. And if he if Devin Haney can pull out like a a knockout, something very impressive in this fight, man, who knows? Who knows what he could line up? So, yeah, 
really good decision by the Haney camp. Um, this is a good one. So y'all uh, put what you think in the comment section below. Also put a like, you know, and hit that notification bell. Man, the channel is really growing really well. So I'm, you know, so thankful for all the support that y'all been given. And, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to bring some good value and, and also all the all the boxing news and the hype and all that stuff, man. And anything that y'all really want me to cover, just let me know. Send me a message or something like that. I'm down to cover it. You know me. I'm just with the camera. And when I see something in the news or anything like that, I try to make a video about it. Hopefully it's entertaining. And uh, <laughs> hopefully it's, you know, it's, it's bringing you some, some decent value on your day. So that way you don't have to really find go here go there go, do this to do that you know i just try to give it to you and hey do it the way that i can do it so as you can see you know it's raining out today so i'm just chilling out here in the car but uh yeah man it's a good day it's a pretty exciting day so i hope that y'all have a, a a very fortunate prosperous and beneficial day the rest of the day and uh with that being said peace one love yeah we out of here hey